Aquarius, hi, welcome to my channel. So today we have a reading for you. We're going to do my version of a Celtic cross. At the end, there'll be an opportunity for an extended where we'll dive in deeper. You can watch this for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, North Node, or if any of those planets are currently transiting your 11th house, this could be for you. Once again, thank you for the continued support in whatever format that comes, whether it's liking a video, sharing, subscribing, commenting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. It's the easiest and fastest way to grow the channel. It's very much appreciated. Thank you to Patreon members, all those that purchase private reads, extended buy me a coffees, donations. It uh, allows me to continue doing this for you guys. So thank you very much indeed. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome. The message could be for you. Um, all the information is in the description box. Just hit the more button below. Okay, Aquarius. What is going on with you guys? One more. We have the Ace of Wands. Okay, the creative spark. Okay, interesting. I'm kind of seeing this as... Um, Oh God, what do you call them? Uh, oh my God. Flares, a flare, my word. Um, so it's like, I don't know if you've been guided somewhere. It's like a flare that's going off. It's like Aquarius this way, this way. So let's see, crossing you. Root of the matter. You're ignoring something. Recent past. What you want. What's coming in. How you see yourself. How others see you. Advice. Okay, I, was, I knew it was going to be something about speaking your truth and potential outcome. Okay, right. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Page of Wands. We have the Nine of Swords, the Six of Wands, Temperance, Two of Cups, the Emperor, Ten of Cups, Five of Coins, Judgment, Ace of Coins, Nine of Cups, Four of Swords, Two of Wands. Okay, um, the, universe, the universe is trying to warn you about something here. Um, it's like the flare has gone, it's come this way. The answers are right in front of you. Um... And I kind of feel like it's something to do with self-sacrifice here. This is self-sabotage. And I don't mean it in self-sabotage in the sense of um, you're doing something purposely wrong. I feel like there is an energy here of um, something's changed. It's actually reminding me of holistic psychologist. She put something a few days ago uh, about being... It's okay to change your mind. It's okay to outgrow people. It's okay to develop new values and, uh, and and to want different things. And I almost feel like you're sticking around something for the idea of either to suit somebody else or um, because you've put time and intention into something. Crossing you is the Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands, um, I'm, I know you're an air sign, but I'm gonna say it's you. The Queen of Wands is somebody that is very, very, very confident, knows what she wants, sees the bigger picture, goes and gets it. I get the impression here, you, you're reducing your greatness to fit somebody else's world. Because the root of the matter is the Eight of Swords. This is you hiding. This is you making yourself smaller for whatever reason. It feels like you're doing something to serve somebody else. That doesn't have to be a romantic aspect. This could be anything. This could be work. This could be friendships, um, family members, who knows. 
that there's something here that is the universe is trying to point something out very 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 clear that something is holding you back in the recent past we have the high priestess the high priestess i believe is you listening to your intuition knowing and trusting your intuition but something's changed it's like it's like you're no longer trusting your guidance or it could be you're just going through blanks at the moment you might be cloudy um it could just be you know we've just had the first of four super moons um yesterday with that uh, super full moon in, in capricorn so there's a lot of hazy energy here but there's something that is being desperately pointed out what you want is the three of swords now the three of swords is in what you want next to the high priestess it feels like there's some sort of maybe secrets or um third energies that um you're wanting to be clear about but the thing that's standing out for me most is the not the three of swords energy itself but the actual description in this deck it's the crane's wife the three of swords represents betrayal the crane's the crane wife asks her husband for privacy but he spies on her only to discover she was hurting herself to help him his spying was treacherous but so was her inability to trust him with her secret it was it's kind of like um yeah it's reducing your greatness to serve somebody else it's like the, the whole story of the crane pretending to be a woman to marry the, uh, the the man there's something about like any sort of relationships or, or, or any sort of connections based on deceit and lies will always come out eventually you know three things that can never be hidden the sun the moon and the truth but there's something here it's like there's a red flag that the universe is just desperately waving in front of you here and it could be something to do with your current environment. Three of Swords could be the third house. Third house rules your local community, your transport, your um, uh, your communication in terms of work, maybe your um, social circles, maybe siblings. It tends to be younger siblings, the third house. But there's something here that's um, like desperately waved in front of you. What's coming in is the Six of Coins. Now, the Six of Coins is a balance. It's reciprocity. It's the moon in Taurus. There is an energy here of needing some sort of balancing of the scales here. Because at the moment, something is out of sync. It's interesting. I'm hearing you cannot create a new life if your hands are too busy holding on to the old ways. So there's something maybe self-sabotaging that you're doing that stops that growth the self-sabotaging energy is next to the page of wands what's crossing is you is the queen of wands it's like two steps back one step forward two steps back how you see yourself as a chariot you see yourself as moving forward and i think that you are but the issue is is whatever this surrounding energy is that's holding you back and it feels like you are recognizing this now and if you're not recognizing it you need to look very very clearly because the signs are very very obvious with that um, high priestess with the ace of wands here the moment you begin to to think that you deserve better you do is something to remember here how the universe sees you however see you as a seven of wands the seven of wands is um for me it's perseverance it's winning it's getting on top of things it's also Mars in Leo. Mars is currently in Leo for another week. So this could be a, a significant seven days for you in terms of what it is that's going off around you. And it requires you to speak up. It requires you to clear the throat chakra because your advice is the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords advice, obviously, is to leave the past behind, move away, tur turbulent times, etc., etc. But I'm literally reading it as Six of Swords is Mercury in Aquarius. Your Aquarius, Mercury's talk, speak. Your outcome, the Ace of Swords, clarity, your truth. There is a need to speak your truth about something here. And it's something to do with feelings or intuitive nudges. Because your outcome as well, Ace of Swords, we have the Moon and we have the Four of Coins. Now the Four of Coins 
I will read in this book, but I'm kind of seeing it as Pluto in Capricorn. It's retrograded back out of your sign and into Capricorn, which is giving you some sort of little bit of breathing space to assess the last three months as to what has, what have you learned the last three months? And it's now time to speak your truth and create boundaries. You know, this is you protecting your energy. If you think you're the uh, vulture, crow, uh, eagle, whatever it is. Um, protecting your energy here because there's something that is... <sighs> Alarm bells are going off. I, I It wouldn't surprise me. And we've got the six of coins, which can be leaking financially. Four of coins is holding on to what you are, uh, what you own. This could be maybe some sort of um, red flag about somebody in your environment in terms of potential um, financial situation. But some, there's like a real big warning here from the universe. Four of coins, the condor's wife condor. Peru, a, my, a Mara folk tale. The four of coins represents greed and an unwillingness to open up or share. Condor covets his wife, who does not like his lifestyle or living with him. He recognises her unhappiness, but is unwilling to make changes or set her free. There is something that's going on here. This is that kind of reducing your greatness to fit somebody else's mould. And somebody that is... I think you're being controlled by something here. You're being controlled, whether it's by your ego or whether it's by somebody in your environment but it's controlling your possible decision-making processes. And it's now time to release this. The energy is with you. The universe has got you back here. Next seven days is going to be pivotal. We've got the moon, we've got the chariot. The new moon in, in um, Cancer is happening exactly the same day as um, the North Node and the South Node change signs, 17th of July. So from here, we've got 13 days to Len, seven more days of um, Mars and Leo. Something is taking place. The moon is being very, very, very significant here. The moon is here as well as the moon and the moon in Taurus with the six of coins is prosperity lies ahead and your dreams need a practical plan. So let's just see where the Hierophant is. The Hierophant being Taurus, for those unfamiliar. The Hierophant is with the Page of Coins and the Seven of Cups. There is somebody in your environment that's causing a lot of confusion here. And the universe is asking you to speak your truth. Um, to stand up for what you believe in. Six of Swords plus the Ace of Swords equals the Seven of Swords. If this person can't handle or the vulnerability, then you know that this person's not for you. If you bring up your emotional space in regards to whatever this is, and then they twist it and blame you and they can't take responsibility, there's your answer again. But there's something that your, your intuitive mind is trying to warn you. And it's a big, like, the universe is like getting huge flags, you know, um, trying to give you this nudge as to what's going on. Okay. Let's so quickly look for the Wheel of Fortune and the Lovers. Eight of Swords being Jupiter in Gemini. together. Wheel of Fortune is with the Lovers and the Two of Coins and the Hermit. You need to take time out. The answers are within. I mean, I know that's a cliche saying from a spiritual point, point of view, but it's so true. Um, the answers you seek are right in front of you. They're, they're, they're within. This, this is not something that's coming out of the blue. If this is resonate with, re resonating with you, you're fully aware of what's going off here. Um, your intuition's already told you what's going on here and now it's time to actually put trust your intuition and actually speak it 
um, because there's, there's an unpleasant energy that surrounds you with this Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Okay. Could be seen seven, seven, seven a lot. Seven of one, seven of swords, the chariot. Eight, one, eight, one, eight, eight. Okay. Sixty-six. And there you go. So, Aquarius, look after yourselves. In your extended, we're going to look at what this energy is, uh, this kind of mm, deceptive energy. Um We'll take its um, we'll take its energy, what we know, what we don't know, recent past advice and potential outcome. If you can join me, fantastic. If not, let me know if this resonates. You could be dealing with or having your chart um, Jupiter in Gemini. We have Cancer Pisces, Saturn in Libra, Moon in Taurus, Cancer, Mars in Leo, Mercury in Aquarius, Cancer Pisces, Sun in Capricorn, Moon in Aquarius, Mars in Gemini. Jupiter in Leo, Sagittarius, Venus in Cancer, Aries, Mars in Pisces, Mercury in Taurus, Libra Scorpio, Ma um, Jupiter in Pisces, Jupiter in Libra, Mars in Aries. Swords, coins, wands. No cups. This, this, somebody's playing silly buggers with you here. Okay, take care. Let me know. Bye.